One more important piece of the puzzle was found in 2005, when cancer researcher Keith Chang was studying the black and white stripes of zebrafish. There are a lot of zebrafish in my laboratory because I'm a geneticist and I study how mutations occur, which is how cancer occurs, and I use pigmentation to detect those mutations. By chance, the light-skin-colored fish that I use for that research also taught us a lot about how Europeans, how humans became lighter skinned. What Professor Chang discovered was perhaps one of the most important genetic mutations ever found. A single change among literally billions of coded instructions within zebrafish DNA that reduced black pigment from their stripes. Soon after, this identical genetic mutation was found in fair-skinned Europeans. There was a magic moment in this research. When I got back the results that showed that the number and the size and the amount of pigment in the light-skinned zebrafish were all diminished, and the same thing happened in humans, when I opened the textbook and saw that same thing, I began to sweat. Not only did light-skinned people evolve from black-skinned people, but lighter-skinned people, whether they're European or whether they're Asian, like me, were actually mutants of the dark-skinned people. This was remarkable because we had only inferred on the basis of circumstantial evidence that this must have occurred in evolution, but we didn't have any concrete genetic evidence. Now we do.